Welcome to Highlights of the third and final One Day International from Palakeli. The series had already gone to Sri Lanka, having won the first two games. So West Indies, well, they were in search of a consolation victory. Lovely, lovely. Now we'd like to see that again. It's slightly on the up. Avishka Fernando, what a shot. Another boundary. Don't run for that. Too full from Cottrell. First run for Karna Ratna. It'll be a boundary. Down the ground she goes. Boys drop kick that. Shortish picked it up and deposited it to mid wicket. Poor bowling this. How about that? How about that? Now that's harsh. Inside edge, more a Chinese cut down to fine leg for four. Too short, punished. 50 up in a hurry, in a flash. Make a peel. And given, and walks off, so no review, just a little feather. Boy, did they need that. An innocuous delivery going down the leg side. And just getting an edge. This first match, the first ODI, he got out in a similar fashion. And now Zari Joseph, he knew it, didn't even bother to turn back. So success for the West Indies. Fernando goes for 29, Sri Lanka 60 for 1. Oh, dropped him. It was a firm hit. Play specifically for that. That is to try and catch him on the drive. Uh, that's going to go for four. Nothing anybody could have done about that. Batsman took a chance. Colonel Ratna. Oh, that's taken. That is taken. Now, will the umpires want to refer it? Let's see if this held up in the pitch a bit. Just seemed to play too early. And uh, Chase takes that cleanly. No question about that one. So, Karen Aratna goes for 44. And the West Indies pick up their second wicket. It's 88 for two. Don't bowl full tosses to him. You don't bowl full tosses to him, whether he's just in or whether he's settled. Mid on inside the circle, it becomes a very easy hit. Big hit down the ground and plays well enough. Lolan just interested for a moment, but only briefly. Whack, gone a long way. Long, long way, no chance at all for deep mid-wicket. All work for Sheldon Cottrell won't get there this time. Absolutely no chance, a little too straight, helped on its way. Mendes back in the runs today. Short delivery. This has been the problem. Great work, but I'm not sure he stopped it. It was a good effort. Takes the edge, finds the outside edge. Doesn't carry to the keeper, third time lucky, but results in a boundary. Short delivery again, swung away on the onside. Another boundary of the first ball of the over. Fifty for Kusal Mendes. He's just carrying on from where he left off at Hambantota. And it, come, it has come in good time of 44 balls. That's gone, that is gone. Pollard gets the man. Again, a length delivery, bowled slower. And Kusal Pereira looking to manufacture a shot, looking to go play that slog sweep. Big Nick, 
for a well played 44 Sri Lanka now 177 for three short delivery this time taken well the short delivery we've been talking about that one shouldn't be bowling has resulted in Kusal Mendes hitting it down the throat of the big man the captain and persistence with the short ball finally pays off the big man Karen Pollard just hustling to his right and a simple catch in the end for him and Kusal Mendes he goes for an excellent knock 55 of 48 Sri Lanka now 185 for four this is played beautifully behind point Dananjay De Silva gets a boundary eight runs off in the 200 is up got him it's Matthews mid off mid on in the circle he was looking to hit the top of them Cottrell strikes something for the maroon to celebrate Matthews gone for 12 Sri Lanka 214 for five beautiful shot clever shot all the work done really before the ball was released from the hand stayed leg side of the ball he knew there was a boundary through extra cover that's where it goes that's educated batting it's brilliant batting knew exactly where the gap was what a shot what a shot almost uh, roll back the years to West Indies cricket just flicking off his legs and a half century of real quality for Jan and Jaya 51 when his team desperately needed it of just 45 balls slow ball and simple as you like big hands of Kyron Pollard again it was a slow ball but his job has been done Silva goes for a well played 51 Sri Lanka 278 for six smashed over extra cover for a boundary one bounce four trying to go wide Yorker gets it wrong gets punished gone up a long way should be taken Robman Powell the substitute fielder he's only on for a couple of overs but the Sarah Pereira he'd be pleased with that there for 38 of 31 Sri Lanka now 293 for seven <laughs> what a shot one of the shots of the innings one of the shots of this uh, competition so far these three games he just stepped away to the offside and smashed it over deep square what a talent this young man is look at that movement early real confidence and a flick of the wrist over deep backward square it's a magnificent shot smashed away this time through the offside back-to-back -back boundaries there's absolutely nothing holder can do here goes again but this time a shot too many not much of a celebration from Jason Older or the skipper Kyron Pollard maybe they feel the damage is done brief cameo 16 of 9 306 for 8 good mix up good mix up we'll have to scurry to the other end well they're gonna have a little look but nothing really from holder thank you decision for the big screen is out well I knew he was walking off really before the decision was made he had no choice he had to try and get an extra single an extra run so uh, Sandakan comes and goes without scoring 306 for nine gone up a long way should be taken in the deep yeah simplest of catches again from Pollard nothing in terms of animation or excitement he realizes this is going to be a heck of a run chase under the lights here in Palakelli
but it's Sri Lanka who have dominated the day so far. And it's going to be the West Indies who need 308 runs to win this third game of the series and try and win a game in this series. Finds the gap, timing. Won't go all the way, but uh, nice start. Nice, uh, confident ease through the leg side. Beautiful shot, beautifully timed. That's when he's at his best. We found in the last game when uh, the team score was well, it was building and the pressure was building on him. What a shot that is. What a shot. Good use of the feet, trying to meet the bounce of the ball, going on top of the bounce. And the rest is a beautiful swing through the line. What a shot. One of the shots of the day, and we've seen plenty of them. That's just pure class. Gets enough elevation, it will go for a boundary. Perhaps not the control to the shot that he wanted, but uh, the end result he'll take. Oh, he went better. Six. A wonderful hit. What a full swing of the bat. That brings up the 50 for the Windies. This will run away. Deep square leg was in front of square. Just strain and down the leg side to Sarah Pereira. He's chipped that. He's chipped that well. One bounce for four. So Ambrose doing his bit. Down the wicket. Over mid off. Couple of bounces into the boundary. That's a very good response from Ambris. Well, this is smart cricket. It's always good to get on a bowler before he settles. <laughs> this is in there, just over mid off. And that's his 50. That is a big over so far. <coughs> Ten runs already. He's, that's 50 for Hope. Very well played in a good opening partnership, but you could see that loop. Second ball, a little bit of grip and turn. Done him. Rogan. Vanidu Hasaranga, the man with the golden arm. He's done him with the Rogan. And. Uh, didn't take long. Opened him up. 111 for one, the West Indies, as Sunil Ambrose scores for 60. We're in the 19th. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's a boundary. On the up, through extra cover. Punched off the back foot. That's an open space. Nicholas Puran on the back foot, just a bit of width. Pouncing on it. Oh, what a shot. What a shot that is. Poise, control, aggression. He just picked it, picked his spot, and then dispatched it. He knew he just had to get it over the infielder. Cool. What a shot. What a shot that is. One of the shots of the day. Just uh, again, a great element of control. Just hoisted up over long off. Slower ball, Shea Hope falls. This is what we were talking about and very predictable. Brilliantly bowled by Surudan. Sri Lanka get the breakthrough. Out the back of the hand. And Hope looking maybe to work it away from the wrong line. Just manages to pop it. And he's going to go now for 72 from 88 deliveries. West Indies now 171 for two. Well, everyone's trying to bowl short to Kyron Pollard. This time gets on top of it and gets a boundary and the 200 is up. Flicked away on the onside. That's a boundary. 
turning out to be a big over. A little bit up, they scored an extra cover. Angelo Matthews strike. Nicholas Puran goes. Slower delivery, the cutter. And driving a little bit too early. And straight to the man that saw an extra cover. And they're in this game still because of that innings there. 50 from 61, 218 for three. Short ball, he takes it on, he gets it. Goes all the way. Was waiting for it. Front foot out of the way. He saved that. He's got that into the gap. Big over. Big over for the West Indies. 16 off it. They asked for it. Opportunity at the bowler's end. And yes, Darren Bravo goes. They asked for the LBW, but they get a run out. Would they review the LBW? I think they might be thinking about it. And the run out is out, Rick. Yeah, there'll be a big roll. They've got a wicket, they've got a breakthrough. Darren Bravo's gone for eight. 240 for four in the West Indies. Whitey Shocker. Can Udan execute? No, he can't. He misses his length, but Pollard doesn't. Yes, up in the air. This is the opportunity. Udana, Udana takes it. Pollard goes. Just hustling Karen Pollard. Got a little bit more bounce than he anticipated. Udana made no mistake. And the West Indies fans, he goes one short of a half century. 253 for five. Holders on strike. Hammers, mid wickets there. He won't get to it. Welcome boundary then. Goes hard. You're spot on. You're spot on. And so is Fabian Allen. It's six. That's in the air. Another wicket, we said. He gets it. It's Jason Holder who goes. 275 for six. Holder goes for eight. Into the pitch. Into the air. It's Allen. Stands and watches. Stands and watches as it goes over. Go straight and full. Allen wants to. He wants to strike. Oh, he's done well. Walsh has done well. We're going upstairs. But I think Walsh has done well. It will be greeted with a huge roar. They've got another one. He's hit that hard. It's flying towards the long off boundary. He wants to. Pereira's done well. This will be tight. He had a long way to come to the stumps. Decision for the big screen is out. Oh, Sammy, sorry to break your heart. Goes into the wicket again. It's going, it's going. It's not gone. Fabian Allen is gone. What a catch, well judged in the deep by Kusal Mendes. It looked like it was going. Outstanding, Fabian Allen's been outstanding though. 37 off 15, 299 for nine. Oh, dot ball, Sri Lanka do it, Angelo Matthews does it. Look at that for a celebration from Angelo Matthews. It's gone down to the wire, they're one by six. What a wonderful game of cricket. So as far as the summary is concerned of this game, was Ranka batting first 307 runs for Kusal Mendes again. He's had an excellent three games. Dan and Jaida Silva, don't underestimate the importance of those runs, 51 from 47, and runs for the skipper as well. And in reply, well, runs for the top order, confirmation, Shea Hope then is a terrific player, 72 from 88. Angelo Matthews, though, the star with the ball. So it's Sri Lanka who win this third game by six runs. It's another tight game. It's another great drama game right at the end. And it's congratulations to Sri Lanka who take the series 3-0.